using the front door. Two guesses. Real estate vultures. I've told you people I'm not selling. Oh, what? sorry? The door's stuck. Go round the side. Oh, which way? Forget it, I'm coming round. No, I can probably open it. Just wait there. You look like your mother. Hi. <laughs> Should we go inside? So gorgeous. House and the trees and the hills. Straight out of a painting, isn't it? It's much bigger than I remembered. <laughs> Can't believe I own half of it now. <sighs> I remember that smell. That smell of um. Wood? Mold. <laughs> it's a mouldy smell. You know, it's a, it's a good mould. It's a dry, country sort of mustiness. It's always cool and dark in here. I remember running in on really hot days and... And this was Jack's room, wasn't it? This was Jack's study. Can I get you a cool drink? Yeah, thanks. Claire, I'm really sorry, it's all my fault. You know, if the cattle hadn't have got out, the accident, everything, I stuffed up. Look, if they hadn't got out, I wouldn't have realised the men were stealing from me. That's a very generous way of looking at it. Hey, you don't have to worry about that. I fixed it. <laughs> Thanks. Thank Jack. Things don't get done just by looking at them. Hey, boy. Hello. It's Roy. Roy likes you. Named after the big O, is he? Oh, I like that song, Pretty Woman. Oh, no, no, he's named after an ex-boyfriend. It turned out to be a mongrel. Ah. Oh. But I like that song, too. <laughs> big shock. Come on. Come on. Get out. Get out. <laughs> Look, this isn't such a great time. I'll see what I can sort out with the solicitor and get back to you. You probably want to go home. Home, yeah, sure. Yep. What's the problem? I was looking for somewhere after Mum died, but uh, then I got the solicitor's letter and I thought, well, I haven't seen you for a while, so... Uh, I'm just not quite sure where home is right now. Oh, well. It just doesn't stop at geckos, you know? Pardon me? Well, there are spiders everywhere, and when it gets hot, there's the occasional snake in the loo. The hot water runs out really fast, the tally's on the blink. We're up at dawn, we're back at night, and I don't have time to look after you. Well, sis, 
I've managed this far by myself. I've had jobs since I was 12. One of them was in a bakery and there were heaps of mice. Alive or dead? Uh, they were, um, alive-ish. <laughs> and I put myself through a uni and I bought my own car, which hardly ever breaks down, and when it does, I can fix it. Um, sometimes. You don't have to worry about me if you were... Um, asking me to stay. Here, that is. I am. But it might take weeks to sort out what's going to happen to Drover's run. Oh, that's okay. I, um, I packed a few pairs of undies. Right then. Well, I'll go get these cattle. By yourself? Oh, there's only about 50. Jody and I can give you a hand. I'm in no rush to get back to town if you've got a spare horse. Sure. Um, I can ride. Okay. <clears throat> Great. Well, we'll find a horse for you. Jody, break Oscar out of retirement, will you? Please be good. Please just let me do this one thing right. Club. Wait till she has to gallop. How's your bum? Fine. <laughs> For all this is yours. It's ours, I suppose. Trouble, please. Oh, this is so stupid. You can't tell anyone. Close the door. What happened? The contract. Oh, God. What about it? I've stuffed up the dates. We're too late. No. We're too early. It's next week I'm meant to deliver. We had a whole extra week. You flogged us all. I did. For no reason. Yes. can't tell anyone, Tess. They're going to think I'm the biggest idiot. You make mistakes. Our secret, Tess. You know, they're probably going to work it out when the wool stays in the shed for the rest of the week. Oh, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> Stop wriggling. 
This isn't what I expected when you said we were staying the night. You always did that. Claire Hart, one blanket each. <laughs> mine and that one's mine and that one's mine and that's one and that one's mine and you can't have them unless you name them <laughs> <laughs> mm. you were fantastic out there today Sirocco was you didn't tell me he was Jack's horse Did he die? Heart attack. I know that, but how? I think it was losing mum's hair that really killed her. Father came out till then. After that, she didn't really care anymore. She pretended. She'd still pull on that smile of hers. But I knew she wanted to go. Did it take long? Dad went up to the high paddocks to look for strays. I get worried till it's about almost dark. Sirocco was there, standing on the hill. He stayed with him. I should have gone looking earlier. Get up and shove it into gear. I'll do it. It's not a good idea. Well, I don't think I can. Look, I've been climbing windmills since I was seven. Claire, please let me tell you something. Number one, you're a pain in the bump. And number two, actually, I think number one just about covers it. Be careful. Oh, what do you know? She cares. Now we're going to go down one step at a time, all right? I can't. Yes, you can. I'm not going to let go of you, I promise. The 
just stick your right foot down, straight down. Hey! Oh, I've got you. I've got you. Sorry. You okay? Okay, look, I'm going to place your foot down with my hand, okay? Okay, I've got your right foot. Just give me your foot. Okay, we're just going down a bit. A bit further. A bit further. There you go. Good. Okay, I'll do the same with your left. That's good. Good. Okay, next one. You've got to put your foot out just onto a little ledge. That's good. See, it's not really Everest. Jack Scotch. Oh no, is it? I'm sorry, I'll find something else. Oh, it doesn't matter. Might as well. Not much of a knapsack for desk. And us. I can't get that song out of my head. Mm. Dad used to sing it to us when we were little. Only way we'd get to sleep. They say they cry like that when someone dies. Gives me the creeps. Yeah, me too. <sighs> you know, people used to think Picasso wasn't any good. Up your bum and up your 
those two. <laughs> <laughs> You all right with this? Yeah, why wouldn't I be? It's part of Driver's Run. It's family. I should chuck all this stuff. No way, we need to collate it. We need to build a realistic picture of where we are. Realistic? <laughs> Just what the bank said. We need a business plan. With all the ideas for the property's development fully costed over five years. That way we can manage our resources effectively, then in five years or so we buy the desk back. Maybe. You didn't tell me about your Harvard MBA. It's part of my hospitality diploma. Business studies. Really? Full of surprises. Yeah, to the brim. You want to unplug that? Oh. Oh, oh my God. What? Get down here. Oh, gross. 20-year-old bubblegum. I know. We used to have tea parties under this desk. Did we? Yeah. I had a plastic tea set, and if you weren't driving me crazy, I used to let you play. Hey, look. Claire McLeod. Tess McLeod. <laughs> <laughs> I remember when you wrote that. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Is this one of their silly fights? Yeah. It was just before you and Ruth left. Mm. I've made a mistake. I'll call him. Tell him. Here you go. Apparently I'm uh, here to pick something up. The is that right? Careful! Wait! It'll still be there when the desk comes home. Betcha. Claire. I can't tell Dad you've changed your mind. It's your call. No. Righto, boys, tie down. Fence. Why do we have to check it? Because that's what you do. Now, the best way to check if a fence needs repair is give it a good kick. Oh. Right. Ow! <laughs> Remember this. When checking fence posts, avoid the use of the toe. that damn bull. Yep, and he's looking straight at me. I think he likes you. He's making me nervous. Get on the horse! I'm trying! of heights. Well, between heights and bulls, I think I'll take heights. Go on. Shoo. Shoo, shoo. Are you going to get it away? Yeah, all right. 
Come on, get out of there. these cows away before they get on to Kalani. I'll get cracked onto by that bull. You forgot your hat. Oh, I'll, um, I'll get it later. Well, he was all Mr. Nice Guy, said he was shouting. Can you forget about the stupid fence? My cow is dying. So I said to Harry, thanks very much, but I don't accept charity and we'll be paying for our share. But if he wants to pay, why not let him? We don't have to find the money, we get a new fence. Everyone's a winner. You don't know how it works in the bush. All oh, right, the bush. The mystique of the bush, the code of the freaking bush. It's bullshit. Not us too proud to accept a gift. Oh, God. We have to do the thing. This is the troca. This is the cannula. This goes in here. Got it? Do we really have to put it into the cow through the flesh? Mm-hmm. You punch it <clears throat> right into the rumen. But that's really got to hurt. Or do you want a healthy sore cow or an exploded dead one? OK, so you punch it in. The troca comes out. And so hopefully does the gas. I think you can do it. OK, so I'll do it. Just try and keep it calm. How do you know where to put it? Oh, Dad's done heaps of them. No, I'm just going to go and um, make you a cup of tea. Hey. Help you to relax. Yeah, yeah, that's just you. you move and I will shove this in your stomach. Right. Now, as far as Harry Ryan is concerned, if we accept his offer, then we're under obligation to him. It's a thin edge of the wedge. Before you know it, Harry will be sitting in Jack's chair again, except this time, he'll own it. Oh! Uh, uh, it's all right, it's all over now, you can uh, relax. Uh, not quite. That's step one. Now we withdraw the troco and see if it's worked. From what my nose tells me, I think it's safe to say Madonna will live. Oh, uh, thanks. Thanks very much. I'd give you a very big hug, but I've got to be sick. OK, Mickey Ball, if you're out there, listen, and listen good. This is silly and dangerous. What, with Charlie's angels waiting in the bushes? Mickey Ball. If he doesn't like you, he likes me. Go on, get. For some unknown reason, you find me irresistible. So come on out, big boy. I believe you and I have a lot in common. No real home, parentless, hunted from one safe house to another, hoping to find a, a calm refuge in a troubled world. And so here we are, two, 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 two fugitives who find their destinies converging here on Drover's Run. I'm sorry, Claire. I don't think this is working. I feel very stupid. No, wait. I'm seeing something move. Yep, definitely something moving. Yep, it is. Let's go. Here's the ball, he's coming. Stand by to move, I'm running out of things to say. Oh. I don't know if I'm ready for this. I think I'm gonna need a change of undies soon. Just, um, uh, uh, 
uh, getting my hat. Here, right on. your loud knock. Who are you talking to? I'm in a chat room. Kumara, is that you? Exotic, isn't it? It's a sweet potato. And you're actually talking to someone real. Nine inch rod. Have you thought about what he might be doing at the other end? Talking like crazy. With one hand, I'd say. I could be like a big fat 60 year old. He could be a complete psycho. Who cares? Tess. He wants you to... <laughs> oh, I don't think you're that <laughs> flexible. Well, cyberspace, let the man dream. You want to uh, shut the door on your way out? by the tennis court. Okay. Slow down there. Farm girls in no hurry. Am I ready? Oh no, not now. You got a problem. Oh, uh, uh just finishing up. Counts package froze on me again. Okay, night, night. Farm girl. Come on, B ladies. B I Reg. Fire Reg. Hey Reg, can you look after these ladies when they made up their mind? You pull table brand. <laughs> You're looking for trouble. Maybe they've got a song about skinny sheep. Mm. Anything but the Spice Girls. You're not getting me up there. I've heard you sing in the shower, Jodie. You'll help me. I'm singing in front of everyone. Oh, but I can't sing in public without my lippy. I'll be right back. Right on. Come on, Claire. Tess.
I invited Peter Johnson to dinner. It's all part of the plan. Because apart from being a better trainer, etc., etc., you've got something that Alex hasn't got. Ta da! What, your cleavage? No, our cleavage. Tonight we dress to kill, we shake booty, we bat lashes, come coffee and liqueur, the guy will be putty in our hands. Yeah, and then what? Well, then we ask for a few more days until you've got a ride. I don't think he's in the position to do that. It's worth a try, Claire. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. One slight flaw in your plan, Tess. In case you hadn't noticed, Peter and I don't exactly get along. Lighting. Yeah, we like it like this. Right. Um, Claire should be down soon. I'm not quite sure what she's doing. Just getting changed for dinner. Hi, Peter. Hello. You're glad you could make it. Why don't you two go in? I'll, I'll be in in a tick. Right. Well, um, what can I get you to drink? Beer, wine, coffee, tea. Me? After you. Four, six, eight. You know, I have to say I'm a bit surprised. Yeah, I wonder why anyone would invite a mindless twit over for dinner. Oh, um, you don't know Claire very well. She calls me that all the time. It's kind of like a, um, term of endearment. All right, like smart aleck or idiot. You started it. Would you like some more wine, Peter? Why did you invite me over for dinner? Well, it was Tessa's idea, actually. She thought you might have been a nice guy. Right then, I'll just get another bottle of wine, shall I, Claire? Tomorrow I'm going to call the electrician. He can come rewire the whole house. And before you say anything, I'm choosing to put my money back into our property. Like it or lump it. Fair enough. Hmm. I just thought you might want a glass of this. Yeah, Peter reckoned Harry was pretty shirty when I got the contract. Ah! <laughs> the cleavage worked! <laughs> Tess, where do you see us in 20 years? Not this. <laughs> I mean, you planted a new crop of sorts. Well, that's a new start for us. And uh, I've been thinking you had a point about the quarter horses they eat up time. 
And since you're such a big part of Drover's run now, it'd be a shame. Yeah? There's a lot of work to do, Tess, and you're running off to the city. Yeah, it's going to be tough on us. On Meg and the girls. And me. What are you saying, Claire? I'm saying you're needed. You belong. Stay. Please stay. One thing though. What? I think I'm gonna need you to buy me an espresso machine. <laughs> yeah, right, oh. 